at the moment uh, we have only four women in parliament uh, compared to the 80s total of 87 members which is very little and we need to do something about it and um, also, uh, recently we appointed the Anti-Corruption Commission with three female members and two male members. So it's a majority there. The Human Rights Commission has three females and two males. We just recently appointed two female uh, females for the Supreme Court. And uh, the local council election is coming up and we are amending the Local Councils Act to in include quotas, 33% quotas for women, which is um, great because uh, right now what we're seeing is um, uh, though uh, the president can uh, put women in positions where he appoints them for electoral positions, we need uh, to increase awareness and also uh, to do a little bit more just so uh, women can get in these positions and show to the rest of the people that they are just as capable or better than men. So I think the uh, introduction of quotas is going to be a really positive change. Um, Main challenges, especially for women at the moment, one of the main challenges uh, was uh, the religious issues. Because we are a 100% Muslim country, a lot of the time uh, there are extremist people who talk about like women can't be in leadership positions, they shouldn't be in leadership positions, the religion doesn't allow this. And it sort of uh, uh, creates fear in other people like... By voting for a woman, are we doing the right thing? Is this going to be a sin? Whatever. So I think um, that is uh, one challenge we need to overcome. Um, because I don't believe Islam says uh, that women can't be leaders. It's just uh, the interpretation of some people. And then uh, because it's an island nation, we are scattered uh, everywhere. Uh, transport is quite difficult, mostly by sea. And... Uh, uh, the parliament house is in the capital and so if you are a person living in another island and if you want to become a member of parliament uh, three days uh, a week we have parliament sessions and uh, almost every day we have committees going on. so that means you can't be leaving your island and just come for sessions only you need to relocate your whole family and come to uh, Mali to live which is by itself quite a challenge for women men leave their families and come and go back and forth but the, as for women, usually they have to bring their kids and come and relocate in another island and they have to find schools for them uh, and they have to find uh, somebody to babysit them while uh, they are at work. So one practical solution would be to increase the number of daycare centres, especially why not have a daycare centre in the parliament where MPs can keep their children while they are working. So these are practical things that don't cost too much but that we don't think about because it's mostly men and they don't they have their wives to take care of their children so they don't think about uh, these kind of things mostly in mold is what you would see uh, what you would see is for example if you're not wearing burqa they talk about it a lot um, whenever we talk about some policy or something just to shut us up they would say you know we're in burqa so uh, what you say doesn't matter so uh, that is a, a, a challenge and another thing is like when you really want to uh, intimidate somebody uh, especially a female you would comment on their physical parts and uh, or just you know try to embarrass them so that they don't uh, continue with the speech they're so like you know shocked at what you have said that they they just you know become quiet so this is also something that happens and uh, sexual harassment like uh, uh, is quite common and a lot of people don't talk about it. There was one occasion where the majority leader actually spat water on my face and um, I think more than the action itself, uh, uh, the thing about it is um, those people who are watching the scene, which, which it was a live debate on television anyway, in the floor, so uh, I think it, it sort of um, it sets us back in our goal to bring more women into politics. You don't want your daughter or your wife to be spat on by another man. So when they see this kind of thing, they say, do we really want to send our children or my wife or my sister or my mother? Do I want something like this to happen to them? So I think we need to increase awareness and um, uh, 
the men especially need to know that it's really important their role is really important in bringing out more women into politics Uh, p- uh, political parties i think play a very important role because usually it's with uh, party tickets that you get elected and so i think political parties like we are always saying we want more women empowerment but when it comes to elections we are the only thing that political parties have in their mind is winning so my th- my um, suggestion is okay we want to win the seat so why not uh, give the winnable seats to women so that you have a woman and you have the seat as well so um but this is something i know it's a different a difficult um decision for political parties also because uh, there might be a ma- person who is more popular within that constituency but still we have to make some sacrifices if we are going to go anywhere with this we can't just uh, the leaders can't just keep coming to uh, international forums and talk about women empowerment and then go back and do something else so only when we uh, walk the talk can we get somewhere otherwise it's just going to be talking and talking and nothing happening one might ask why do we need more women in the parliament why can't it just be more men i mean they it's just the same we're saying it's the same but it's not i mean if for example for one thing i've noticed is like uh, while the budget debate is going on what you see mostly is men usually talk about infrastructure bridges uh, harbors and all these kind of things whereas uh, women seem to go into uh, more social development areas like for example preventing domestic violence children's rights um, you know, sexual harassment uh, so it, it's everything is being looked at from two different angles by male and females so i think the balance is really really important especially in a country like Maldives where you know uh, 30% of the youth is on drugs we need a lot of rehabilitation centers and um, uh, social workers and <laughs> i don't know whether because it's because we have so, so many men and few women but the thing is at the end of the day not enough budget is loca- uh, allocated for these kind of things it's more on infrastructure building bridges building harbors and uh, this kind of thing but at the end of the day if we want uh, better people we need uh, to focus on empowering uh, people and also to give in them a better life